Yes, gents, how are we doing? So today's question is, like, what can I put in my smoothies? And this is a question I got last night by one of my guys because he had sort of like a new blender delivered. He bought and sort of like, oh, again, I need some recipes now. What can I put in there? And I was like, it depends. Like, so it, it just, you just got to follow the, the components. And then you sort of, once you understand what you want in the smoothie, what you want from the smoothie, then you just like customize it however you want. Okay. It's not like, oh, it has to be this way. You have to have this, these fruit and with this sort of almond milk, whatever. It has to just to make this work. No, you just start like sort of understand the components and you put together like a jigsaw, like you would any meal. Okay. Um, so what I like to serve with a smoothie. Obviously, you want to sort of just get the, the main sort of ingredients. You still want to get some protein in somehow, okay? Um, you still want to get some sort of like sort of uh, fruit or veg in, basically, to get some fiber in and get some micronutrients. Then probably possibly some carbs and some fat, okay? Again, this is all depending on sort of the when you have it and what you want from the smoothie, okay? If it's like a meal replacement, if it's on the go, if it's after training, whatever, okay? And then depending on your goals, depending on your, like, sort of how many calories you're after, whatever, okay? Then you can add in or substitute different things. Like, so obviously, if you want sort of uh, trying to gain size, you want more calories, then you're going to have more carbs and more fats in then, okay? If not, you're going to have more fruit and more, like, more veg and just a lower calorie thing. But again, you want to keep that protein in. So for this, I always have sort of just like one to two scoops of protein powder, simple as that. Okay, there's hit there. Um, so that'll get you obviously again get get your protein in, and it just is easier to sort of consume than having more sort of meals and stuff, more chicken, whatever. So you can have this after training. Then I always sort of put some spinach in to get my my veg in there. Okay, because the spinach is odorless, and you can just ram it in, and again get a lot in to sort of really get the benefits from that as well. Especially if you don't eat much fruit, uh, much veg during the day. Uh, fruit then again you can put like I put some like frozen berries in you can put banana you can put like again whatever you want okay it doesn't matter okay like those are just perhaps to work best in terms of taste okay um, again depends on like the flavor of protein powder depends on sort of other things what you put in there uh, but again, you can put any fruit you want, really. It's up to you. Again, it does not sort of, you have to have this fruit or that. You just, like I said, combine it like a jigsaw. Um, so yeah, you got your, obviously your protein, you got your veg. Like I said, normally go spinach, you can go kale as well if you want. Again, those, are sort of, those two work well, or lettuce. Um, they work well because again, they're, they, they don't really taste of anything, okay? You can just put it in first thing and then there, and you get a lot of nutrients from that. Um, and then obviously your fruit. So you have some, like I said, frozen berries I use. Just buy a bag from the supermarket in the frozen section and then put it straight in. And then with this, because it's frozen, it'll give it a bit more thickness when you blend it up, okay? Um, then you can obviously look at, like I said, fruit. you got your carbohydrates then, okay? If you're having sort of like, you want a thicker shake or it's after training or you just want to get more calories in, you can add in things like obviously uh, oats. Um, that's, that's the main thing. You just put the oats straight in there and blend them up. Um, or just... What else could you put in there? You could put some yogurt in there as well if you wanted to. Uh, different things like that. And then obviously the amount you have is depending on your goals and your calorie goals. Um, then fats, you can look at like perhaps peanut butter, olive oil, avocado, uh, almond butter. Uh, it depends what you want, okay? And it depends what you like. depends what you got available. Um, so yeah, I'd put some olive oil in, some peanut butter in, just to get different like sort of combination of fats. But again, like I said, it's up to you what works for you and then obviously the serving size of these is dictated by your goals uh like what you have what the outcome of the shake you want um and sort of again you can like how many calories you're on for the day because if you have like a load of sort of peanut butter in there and you're just obviously trying to get leaner and you're only, only on like 1800 calories a day then yeah that's probably not the best thing you want to do okay you want to sort of substitute you want to have something else or you want to drop the fat okay um because that's going to easily rack up the calories there um so that's putting it together and then obviously what to have in here water milk almond milk whatever again up to you okay i always have water you can have milk if you want extra calories if you want more of like a milkshake sort of thing um but like i said i'll always go with almond milk again up to you you can go that i did like down that sort of side if you want you want more of that sort of that milky taste um but like I said, I, I always go water. Almond milk, I just find sort of, it's just, you spend a lot of money just for sort of basically water, okay? I don't know, just sort of, uh, almond milk doesn't really, 
I, I don't really, I'm not fussed on it. Um, milk, yeah, if I wanted higher calories, and I I'd sort of, um, yeah, I'd put milk in it. If I wanted like a bulk up the shake, I've done that before, like when I was young, like when I was trying to gain size before, yeah, I'd have a lot of milk each day. I like sort of a pint of milk of each meal, um, because it's such easy calories, okay? So like I say, if you want more of a sort of a, a muscle building shake, yeah, have some spinach, some protein, some oats, peanut butter, a banana and some like whole milk blend that up and you get some like a lot of calories there okay an easy sort of like yeah easy sort of six eight hundred a thousand calories depending on how much you put in and then you've got a good shake then to get sort of those calories in um on top of your meals as well whereas more if you're working trying to get like leaner and more fat loss base yeah you still have the spinach you'd still have just more protein um like the frozen berries and perhaps a banana okay just go down that so sort of that avenue load up there focus more perhaps yeah with the spinach with the berries and stuff um so yeah you get the protein in but it's sort of just generally lower calorie as well okay um and just with water instead of having milk, okay? Now, that's, that's, that's it, again, it's still, still sort of the same sort of principles, still fundamental components, okay? If you put together like a jigsaw, and then depending on your goals, like I said, your calorie goals, like where you wanna go, um, when you're having it during the day, then yeah, like have it, like I said, obviously, if after training, you want a bit more carbs in there, if it's just sort of during the day, like sort of, then yeah, like as a, just a greens, like just an in-between sort of meals, then yeah, you wanna sort of just more, perhaps protein and veg, okay? You don't need as many calories. Um, and again, it depends what you want it for, okay? Hope that helps, gents. Any question you've got, like, so just let me know, okay? Have a great day.